Have you ever waited too long in a supermarket checkout line? Did you add a candy bar, magazine, or lip balm to your cart while you were waiting for the person in front of you to finish? If so, you're not alone. And there's a reason why stores keep sodas, candies, and other things at the checkout aisles. These items are called impulse items and are strategically placed to entice bored customers into buying cheap but overpriced items to help the retailer drive revenue. If this is you, don't be too hard on yourself. The average American will make 12 impulse purchases and spend $276 each month on these transactions. For a number of reasons, we all buy things we don't need. Some we regret, while others we never think about again. Purchasing things we don't need drains our bank accounts rather than allowing us to save money for investment opportunities enabling us to grow wealth. We're only making the seller richer and ourselves poorer by purchasing these items. Welcome to Gray Skies Media, and we're here to help you invest in your future. Please do us a favor and hit that like and subscribe buttons for more content like this. To determine whether something is worth purchasing, ask yourself a couple of questions. Do you really need this item? Will you actually use the item once purchased? If so, can you purchase a better alternative at a lower cost? Do you even have the space to keep such item? If you want to build wealth and provide a secure financial future for your family, consider these questions before spending money on these products. We buy a lot of stuff we don't really need, and we're going to highlight 15 typical things we spend money on that we should stop buying right now. You'll be able to stretch your money further, avoid credit card debt, and have money to invest in your future. Number 1. Coupons for items you don't need Coupons are an excellent method to save money. You can quickly minimize your spending if you coupon appropriately and attentively. This can be a lifeline for some families. Coupons, on the other hand, can cost you to waste money if you're not careful. Don't use coupons as an excuse to buy stuff you wouldn't ordinarily buy. Even if it's only an extra $3 on top of your regular purchase, you'll find yourself doing it far more frequently than you meant. When you could be concentrating on coupons and discounts when you really need them. Number 2. ATM Fees and Other Bank Charges Paying ATM fees is similar to putting money through a paper shredder. To avoid them, carry cash or move your business to a bank that doesn't charge fees. Banks count on you paying fees to help drive revenue, but that doesn't mean you have to accept it. Consider using a credit union instead of a bank to avoid some of these costs, and switching banks isn't as tough as it used to be. Number 3. Late Charges Late payments not only result in an unnecessary drain on your bank account, but they can also harm your credit score. Consider automating your bill statements, signing up for text and email reminders, or paying online to prevent late fees. If you find yourself in a situation where you know your payment will be late, contact the firm and request an extension. They may accept a partial payment, forgive late fees, and you may save a few dollars. Furthermore, they'll appreciate the call because they believe that you are serious about paying your account. Number 4. Weight Loss Gimmicks Weight loss creams, pills, and supplements marketed as magical cures for the overweight are a sham. These weight loss product testimonials are a bogus marketing tactic, and the models in most cases never had a weight problem to begin with. Weight loss traps are a billion dollar industry. Unfortunately, claims that you may lose weight without changing your habits are just false. And some of these items may really be harmful to your health. Learn to spot misleading claims in weight reduction advertisements and online weight loss product stories. And the truth is that a thin body doesn't come from a gimmick. Losing weight takes both a firm commitment and a strategy for achieving and maintaining that ideal weight. Don't get fooled into spending your money on something that will never work. Number 5. Pre-sliced products Your pre-cut meat, 
cheese and fruit are most likely more expensive than if you bought them whole and cut them yourself. And in general, individually packaged food is frequently more expensive than making something identical from scratch. Snack bars, for example, aren't difficult to make. And the bulk components are ideal, considering the amount you can create with them. When comparing pricing at the grocery store, pre-cut products are two to three times more expensive. Number six, lottery tickets. Stop buying lottery tickets every week. Although playing the lottery may be exciting, your chances of hitting the jackpot are essentially zero. Would you put your money on a horse race with such odds? Lotto tickets are a complete waste of money. Instead, consider using the money to buy dividend earning stocks. Number seven, credit card interest. Here's the reality. If you can't afford to pay off your credit card each month and pay interest, you shouldn't have one. Credit card interest can add up quickly. If you're like many individuals who struggle to keep your credit card balance under control, do everything you can to settle it and get rid of it. If you're trying to pay off your credit card, consider switching to a zero interest or low interest card until you can bring it under control. Remember, you're paying double digit interest on your outstanding balance each month. Number eight, buying too many groceries. We need to eat to live. And for a variety of reasons, the foods we enjoy eating, particularly those that are both tasty and nutritious, can be expensive. However, for reasons that are primarily our own, we frequently wind up paying more for food than we should. We have poor shopping habits. We don't take advantage of money-saving opportunities. We squander food by purchasing items that we never use and that spoil before they reach our meals. Between 30 and 40% of all food in America is wasted. According to a recent study conducted by the Natural Resources Defense Council, Americans waste around 165 billion worth of food each year. This can amount to $2,200 per household. Not only are you wasting money on food you never eat, but you're also generating unneeded trash. Number nine, cable TV. You can get rid of cable and still watch TV by using streaming apps. There are a few big streaming options that most people have heard of, like YouTube TV, Sling, Disney Plus, Netflix, and Hulu. Most of the channels you love on cable or satellite TV have their own streaming channel or they're part of a larger network of channels on one big streaming channel. But a word of caution, after quitting cable, it's easy to turn around and spend that money subscribing to every stream service out there. Avoid racking up the equivalent of a cable bill and choose one or two or take advantage of the free channels. Number 10, paper towels. Using paper towels is like throwing away money. Not only does it generate more waste, but using single-use paper towels will cost you more money than using cloth towels. This helps you save the environment while also keeping your spending under control. Number 11, cleaning supplies. With a few exceptions, like as wood and some upholstery items, you don't need to buy a separate, often expensive solution for each distinct surface in your home. It's simple to locate low-cost recipes or DIY all-purpose cleansers, as well as homemade cleaning agents for specialized surfaces if the need arises. Surprisingly, they perform just as well as store-bought items. Number 12, extended warranties. A popular consumer myth is that purchasing an extended warranty on major goods such as laptop computers, refrigerators, or other electronic devices and large appliances will provide better value. Extended warranties are rarely worthwhile. While a guarantee may appear to be a good idea, it frequently comes at a large cost and does not cover everything that could go wrong. Furthermore, you may already be protected by the manufacturer's warranty. Number 13, items on sale. Putting anything on sale is a common strategy for stores to deceive customers into purchasing something. They slap a huge red tag on it 
or put up a large 50% off sign, and people start buying junk they would never buy at full price. This strategy is effective because it creates a sense of urgency. Aren't sales only good for a limited time? To prevent this deception, disregard the sales price and base your purchase on its present value to you. Don't pay $50 for something you'll never use simply because it's on sale from $100. Like misusing coupons, that's just squandering money. If something you need or have wanted for a long time is on sale and the price is reasonable to you, buy it. If not, simply walk away. Number 14. Things you won't use. Why spend money you don't have on culinary gadgets you'll never use? Instead of splurging on the next impulsive purchase, assess your current situation and identify what you truly require. According to CNBC, U.S. consumers spend $5,400 each year on impulse purchases. Consider whether the item or service is necessary. If not, wait a day before deciding if the purchase makes sense. Number 15. Spending to impress Keeping up with the Joneses or living above your means to attain prestige is a very typical way for people to spend money. It's easy to feel compelled to purchase certain items because people around you do. While it can be difficult to stop comparing your life to others in an age of social media, try to be loyal to yourself, your lifestyle, and your budget. No two financial goals are the same. Since the path to achieving those goals is likely to be extremely varied, everyone has a unique background. But what it takes your neighbor to attain a given financial milestone is likely to be different from what it takes you and vice versa. Focusing on your own personal goals, wants, and priorities is a much better way to spend and save money, and possibly even live a happier life. What do you think about our video? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on that bell icon so you never miss an upload. See you on the next one.